you're after some helpful tips and tricks to help you get the most out of your gaming PC, then congratulations, this is the video for you. We're going to be going through various different ways to improve your experience with things like frames per second, smoother gameplay, more space on your disc, and much, much more. But first, a quick word from this video's sponsor. Asus and the ROG Theta. This is a gaming headset unlike any other, with true 7.1 surround sound for precise audio placement that really will let you achieve that game-winning play. ROG's home theater grade DAC and Essence drivers deliver exceptional audio quality, with sublime clarity and thunderous bass. It's comfortable, surprisingly lightweight, and it works across all of your devices thanks to USB Type-A and Type-C connectivity. Check it out with the link down below. First up, and the thing you simply must do before even touching a game, is to open up the task manager, hit the options, and tick the box labelled always on top. PC gaming really is great, but sometimes things do crash, and by allowing the task manager to always show on top, this will save you from restarting your PC should the game ever crash on you. And don't worry, you only need to do this once. In terms of managing your game, there's actually a brand new tool out there that some of you may have heard of before. It's called GOG. You see, with GOG 2.0, you simply link your Steam, Origin, Microsoft, Battle.net accounts, all of them, and then it will show your entire game library across all of the launchers but unlike so many different options out there, it includes the games you haven't installed yet, and even includes games that you might have subscribed to with something like the Microsoft Game Pass. So this gives you one single application to manage all of your games, and it makes it incredibly easy to not only install them, but to see what you've got and decide what to play next. Fine job, GOG. This works a real treat. Hotkeys. Did you know these handy dandy key combinations that will save you a bunch of time? Maybe, but if you didn't, you're in for a real treat. There are three that you simply must know. Pressing Control, Shift and Escape brings up the Task Manager, and this is incredibly useful for monitoring your PC, closing down non-responsive tasks, and much, much more. You then have Alt-Tab, which cycles through applications, allowing you to use other PC apps without closing down your game. And then finally, we have Control, Shift and the arrow keys. If you're using a single display, this lets you minimize, maximize, and then window your applications, but this becomes the most useful if you've got multiple monitors, as you can then move your windows from one screen to the next, which is really neat. But PC-centric, what about the games, goddammit? You promised me improved smoothness, you promised me improved game performance. Let's talk about this now. Games can really look incredible these days, but sometimes you just want a smoother feeling game. And turning down the anti-aliasing or resolution options will always net you a load of extra frames, but the effect on image quality is usually very noticeable. This is why the settings that I turn down first are always the lighting options with things like global illumination and then shadow quality, as both of these take a huge tax on your system, but I'd wager that the difference between ultra and high for most people is actually going to be very difficult to spot, especially once you start moving the camera around and just start enjoying your game. If you're rocking an NVIDIA RTX card, then try turning off ray tracing and enabling DLSS, as these are also very easy ways to get extra frames, but DLSS 1.0 can be a little bit hit and miss at the lower resolutions and are probably best avoided. While you're in the settings menu, make sure that you know the difference between borderless window and full screen. And both of these do perform very similarly, you're unlikely to see too much difference here, but full screen is usually the most stable option, and any weird anomalies that you're getting can actually be cleared up quite easily by enabling this option. But having said this, however, Borderless window mode is best for those of you that frequently alt-tab into other applications, as the monitor won't go blank when you do so, and popping in and out of game is just seamless, and this is the option that I use in pretty much all of my games. If you don't have one already, maybe consider grabbing an adaptive sync monitor, one that has either FreeSync or G-Sync, as this will make the overall game feel that little bit smoother and help to reduce the stutter and tearing that you're going to get in game. It works by allowing your monitor to match your game's frame rate, rather than relying on the usual fixed 60 or 144Hz refresh rates. It's enabled in either the NVIDIA control panel or the Radeon control center. Simply navigate to the adaptive sync section, tick the box to enable, and then hit apply. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. There are some really simple ways to monitor your in-game performance and see the frame rates. 
Old school methods involve downloading an application called Fraps, which does still work today, but it doesn't work in DirectX 12 games, which to be honest is most modern titles. So the way that you're going to want to do it now is actually right under your nose. It's baked into the drivers for both Nvidia and AMD graphics cards. Navigate to the Radeon Control Center on AMD graphics cards and customize and turn on Radeon Overlay. While Nvidia users should instead go into GeForce Experience, turn on that overlay and then enable the Show Frame Rate option. Both of these should work in all applications and games and they will let you use a hotkey to turn it on and off as required. Neat. If you want to record any of your gameplay, then you can also use these tools to do just this. Share directly to maybe your friends, upload to YouTube, or do some game streaming if this is your bag. And speaking of streaming, going a step further than this, let's talk about the Stream Deck that's located on my desk. As, as the name suggests, this was originally designed for game streamers, but I don't stream and this is one of the most important things I think I have in my setup. It is so useful. To put it plainly, this might sound like gas to you. As the clue is in the name, right? Stream Deck. I don't want to stream. Well, I thought the same, but ever since Corsair sent out my Stream Deck Mini to me a couple of years ago, I've honestly been addicted. The most useful thing that I use it for is actually changing the speaker audio to my headset and vice versa without leaving the game, but there are endless things that you can do with it. Maybe turning on the Nvidia frame rate counter, activating shadow play, taking screenshots, controlling Philips Hue, loads of things, all without ever mentioning game streaming. I'll leave my affiliate link down below if you want to learn a little bit more. Now running out of storage space is a right pain in the bum and it's something that affects us all. But what if I were to tell you that there's a better way to manage all of your storage and maybe even get a little bit back for free? The first thing that you simply might not realize is that Windows may have taken up a whole load of space with junk files that can be safely removed from your system. And there's an application to help here, it's called CCleaner. It is straightforward to use and does exactly what it says on the tin. You can hit the Analyze button first, as this shows you exactly what's going to be removed without committing, and then hit Clean, and the space gets freed up. I've actually seen this take 20 gigabytes of junk away before, it is incredibly useful. But if this isn't enough, CCleaner also has a scanning tool that allows you to track down all of the files in your PC that take up the most space. Simply navigate to the Disk Analyzer section, hit the drive that you want to scan, and voila! Your biggest files are now shown to you, and you can delete them as required. Now our final tip is all about game chat, as there's now a way to intelligently clear up your recordings, make it easier for people to understand you in that Discord, and you can finally be the person that isn't yelled at for having that horrible keyboard noise in the background. So to be able to do this for free, this sounds pretty cool, what is it? There's a new application that only works for GeForce users called... What is it called again? RTX Voice, that's right, it's called RTX Voice. Of course it is, it's made by Nvidia, it's got branding all over it. So for clarity, it's called RTX Voice, and it's designed to remove the background noise, not only from outgoing game chat, but actually incoming as well. Now it is still in beta, so there are definitely some quirks that you're going to have to work around, but it is a fantastic way to simply clean up the Discord chat and make sure that you sound your absolute best. It's completely free, so if you are a GeForce user, go and check it out. I'll leave the link for it located down below. So there you go then, 10, maybe 10 and a half, quick, simple, and hopefully very easy ways to get the most out of your gaming computer. Do hit the like button if you've enjoyed this video, it really does help out you wouldn't believe. And get subscribed for more videos just like this, and let me know what you think down in the comments section below. What have we missed? Are there some things you want to share with everyone else? And most importantly, do you want me to make another one of these videos all about the advanced ways to get the most out of your gaming computer? I've got plenty more up my sleeve, so I'll be really interested to hear from you. And of course, while you're down there, don't forget to check out the ASUS ROG Theta. This incredible headset offers true 7.1 surround sound in a cozy and comfortable package. Eight individual drivers give you the surround sound that you've been dreaming of. And thanks to the epic AI noise cancelling microphone, you can record and communicate with confidence. Get ahead of the game today with the ROG Theta, grab yours with the link located down below. Thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it. I'll see you in the next one.